beauty. Oh yeah, we must have beauty. For united we stand, divided we fall. Beauty, ooh yeah, we gotta have beauty. Oh, for united we stand, divided we Oh, hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my illustrious family. How are you? I hope you're feeling better than me today. Yes, 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 I'm a little one bit of weather, but I miss you, family, and I've decided I wanted to do a follow-up um, because I am beginning to see a little turning in the environment, a little turning in the world. And so I must share this with y'all because I'm sure y'all see it too. In the last week or so since uh, the NBA um, set out to blackball, well, I would say that the, well, the NBA and the Brooklyn Nets and these rabbis I um, think that this situation is doing more harm to them than it is to Kyrie. And I think you've awakened a sleeping giant. And I don't think that's what you're meant to do. What you've done is you've encouraged a whole lot of people to read the book from Hebrews to Negroes. Oh, you've cut. You surge the sales of the book as well as the film. All of that because you try to get back. But see, let me tell you something. The universe has a way of rejecting falsehoods. There's an African proverb that says, Truth pressed to the earth will rise. I don't know when, but it will rise. And this is what we are experiencing with the Kanye story. It's been a long, 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 long time since the powers that be have fed us all that sour food about where their position is in the universe and who we are. Okay? And for a long time, we it wasn't challenged, nor was it even a second thought for a black person to pick up this book to find out their origin. Not let alone somebody else's, but their own. But through sports. Because so many people love sports. It is the medium that brings us all together, even if it's superficially. It brings us together because if we can vote for, if we can rally beside one team, then it doesn't matter if we're black or white. We're unified in our love for our team. So what has happened, in my humble opinion, is not only have you forced a lot of black people to read, you force a lot of white folks to read as well. And you force people to read this book and have to have an opinion about this book that would have never thought about having it. Would have never thought this would be part of their repertoire. But as they do read it, they realize now they got some explaining to do. Or they got some questions they need to ask. Because it's not a one size fit all anymore. People are educating themselves, and especially black people, of who they are, what their origins are in this, not only just this country, but in this world. And not only that, we're tired of being minimized. Knowing who we are, having to be minimized and have to 
downplay our greatness so you can feel comfortable with who you are. And I really think that you blew it with this protracted period of time that you always seem to be giving people in terms of whether you want to forgive them or not. That's how I know you're not a religious or a group because there ain't no forgiveness in it. It's, well, I'm going to give you all these control mechanisms and if you can follow these for a protracted period of time, then we'll let you back in the fold. But see, I told y'all a long time ago, I said, Kyrie is an Aries. And one thing I can tell you for sure about an Aries, because I'm surrounded by him. I'm one, my brother's one. I'm, I mean, we all over the place. Most of the people I work with, Aries. If they're not a Leo, but they're Aries. And one thing I will know, I mean, I will say, is give an Aries a cause. And I'm telling you, you got a person that is noble enough and mercurial enough to carry it out and see it through. And they'll stick their feet down if they know they right. Beyond a shadow of a doubt, now you got a hard rock to move. And that's what you're seeing in Kyrie. And so you also seeing the people coming out and supporting you. And I want to say, with that love, I love what you've done. Because not only have you, you've actually led something like the leader that you are. That the leader that your mama named you and you couldn't figure out why she would give you this name. Now you know why. She gave you the responsibility to carry this situation at this time and at this space and on the earth at this time because it's needed for people, especially black people and marginalized people to be woke up to who not only we are and it's allowed other folks to, to understand that the narrative that you've been given for a long time, over hundreds of years, can't be validated. It just can't. And I can't invalidate myself in order to validate you. Because that's what it all boils down to. So I want to thank Kyrie. And I want to thank everybody that's, uh, especially the National uh Basketball Players Association, uh, Floyd Mayweather, um, uh, 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 Jalen Brown, anybody else that's there. I even saw Nick Cannon come out. Because now we can't afford to not tell the truth. And we can't afford to let Kyrie stand on this island by himself. So that's where I'm at with it. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share the channel. And I will see you all in the next video.